Dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the Trahackme, which is intermediate and map. As a pen tester, I'm so certain that you're familiar. You're quite familiar with the map utility. From my point of view, this machine is very, very easy. However, let's just get started. I've already spawned the machine earlier, and this is the IP address of the target. As usual, I'd like to use the local kernel Linux, which is running inside the VMware to do this penetration. So now we can go into the kernel Linux VM. As you can see, I've already done the MMAP scanning. With the UU options, maybe I can zoom in the terminal so you can see what's going on. As you can see, I used the option like a scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also use the ON to output the result into the this file. From the map scanning, we can tell that the target has the three open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface, and also the version information. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. However, the second port number, which is running the SSH surface as well. And uh, I think the version, yeah, use the same version of SSH. And the last one is 31, 33, 7. And the map is not sure about the exact version information. So maybe we can use the browser, because here, as you can see, there will be some... Yes, yeah, some HTTP and like uh, the request. Maybe we can use a browser to take a look at it manually. If the browser cannot access uh, this service, maybe we can use the Netcat or Telnet to uh, connect to the target via the, this port number or this, via this surface. Also here, as you can see, in case I forgot, forget user password. So I think uh, you, I, why I said this machine is very, very easy because here from this surface, we have already got the credentials. And uh, of course, we can deduce or make very reasonable deduce, de de deduction, sorry. Yeah, this user or these credentials can be used for or by the SSH surface. Anyway, we can launch our browser to take a look at the last surface manually first. If the browser cannot work, and then we can use like Netcat. We can copy the IP address of the target from my notebook and put into the address bar of the browser. Please don't forget to specify the port number, which is very unusual port number, very high port number. Let's press enter. As you can see, we successfully got the content back. So I think we do not need to make further more immersion with this application or this service because at this moment or so far, we have already got the credentials. So next, we can use these credentials to connect to the target. And uh, first of all, I'd like to try to use, maybe we can copy these credentials to the notebook. Yeah, we need to make sure we copy the username and the password and uh, note it down onto our notebook. So we can copy the password. So we can try to use SSH, Ubuntu, and oh, we need to copy the IP address of the target first, because yeah, for me it it's a bit difficult to remember, and we can copy the password, paste in here. As you can see, it works. Of course, this is the, the, the shell, which is, yeah, looks a, a bit good. However, I'd like to upgrade to the bash session. And to do that, we can use Python 
or just use the bash command with I option. Press enter. Yeah, it's much better, much nicer. And uh, we now we can make local immigration to get the flag. Nothing interesting here. Bash his history. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we. There's some. Yeah, I think we do not need to care about this history commands. Now we can go back. What I'm doing, and uh, yeah, there is another user. The user name is simple user word. Now we can navigate into this home directory of a user, and we can list files. Even so, even now we have already got or retrieved the user flag. Very very easy box or machine. So that's it for this video. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.